In a small village nestled between the mountains and the open plains of northern China, life was simple and predictable. The villagers rose with the sun, tending to their crops and livestock, and spent their evenings sharing meals with their families. Among them was a young woman named Mulan, known for her curiosity and spirited nature. Mulan's family was like any other. Her father, a retired soldier, now frail with age, her mother, caring and wise, and her little brother, always causing mischief. Mulan, despite her family's expectations, often fell restless, as though she was meant for something more than the quiet village life. But for now, this was her world, and she honored it. The duties of a daughter were clear. Be respectful, work hard, and one day marry a suitable man to bring honor to her family. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the village received dire news. Messengers arrived on horseback, their faces grim, carrying the emperor's decree. The northern invaders, the Huns, were moving fast, and the empire was preparing for war. Every family was to send one male member to fight. For Mulan's family, this meant only one thing. Her father, despite his old age and weakened leg, would have to return to battle. The thought weighed heavy on Mulan's heart. She knew her father could barely walk without his cane, let alone wield a sword and shield again. But tradition was ironclad, and duty to the emperor came first. Her father prepared silently, his face set with the same determination he had worn during his years in service. As night fell, Mulan lay in bed, her mind racing. She couldn't let him go. He wouldn't survive another war. The solution burned bright in her mind, a bold and dangerous idea she could barely admit to herself. But there was no other way. Before dawn, Mulan made her decision. Quietly, she took her father's armor and soared from their place in the family shrine. She dressed in his battle-worn armor, wrapping herself in the heavy steel. The weight felt unnatural on her small frame, but her resolve was stronger than any discomfort. With her father's helmet pulled low over her face, she mounted their family's horse and rode off into the darkness, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement. She wasn't just leaving home. She was stepping into a world where women had no place, a world ruled by swords and honor codes. Disguised as a man, she would take her father's place and fight for her family's name. Mulan knew she couldn't do this alone. She rode to a distant village where an old family friend, an army officer, lived. He had trained her father years ago and was known for his loyalty and wisdom. As she approached him in disguise, she felt a surge of nerves. Would he see through her lie? She introduced herself as F.A. Ping, the son of F.A. Zhou, her father. The old soldier eyed her closely, but after a moment's hesitation, he agreed to help her join the army. Whether he suspected or not, Mulan would never know. He gave her advice, teaching her to walk, talk, and fight like a man. He provided her with a forged document proving her identity, and with that, Mulan was ready to face the world as someone entirely new. When Mulan arrived at the army camp, the vastness of the military machine hit her like a cold wind. Soldiers were everywhere, some seasoned warriors, others, like her, mere recruits. It was clear from the start that this was no place for mistakes. The training was brutal, far beyond anything Mulan had expected. Day after day, they ran drills, sparred with one another, and learned the harsh realities of war. Mulan struggled to keep up, her body bruised and sore from the relentless pace. But she had no choice. If she faltered, her secret could be revealed, and dishonor would follow. Her fellow soldiers were a mixed lot. There was Yao, tough and brash, Ling, always trying to make people laugh, and Qianpa, a gentle giant who seemed more interested in food than fighting. They bickered, laughed, and slowly began to form a bond, even with Mulan, though they believed her to be a fellow man. The camaraderie kept Mulan going through the hardest days. And then there was their commander, Captain Li Shang. He was young but stern, driven by the need to prove himself to his father, a great general. Under his watchful eye, the soldiers trained with an intensity Mulan had never experienced before. But it wasn't just the physical trials that tested Mulan. 
keeping up the facade of being a man was an exhausting effort. She had to disguise her voice, her mannerisms, even the way she held herself. Every moment was a gamble, one wrong move, and everything could come crashing down. One fateful day, their unit was called to the front lines. The enemy was closer than they'd thought, and the time for preparation was over. Mulan's heart raced as they marched through snow-covered mountains. The reality of battle was far more terrifying than she had imagined. The cold bit at her skin, and the fear of what was coming hung heavy in the air. And then, without warning, the Huns attacked. The battle was chaos. Arrows flew, swords clashed, and the sound of war drums echoed across the valley. Mulan fought alongside her comrades, her fear overtaken by instinct. But soon they were overwhelmed. The Huns had them outnumbered and outmaneuvered. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, Mulan saw a way to turn the tide. High above them, on the cliffs, an avalanche could be triggered, burying the enemy beneath tons of snow. Without hesitation, she grabbed a nearby cannon and aimed it at the mountain peak. The explosion was deafening, and the ground began to rumble as the avalanche roared to life. Snow and rock cascaded down, sweeping the Huns away. The battle was won, but in the chaos, Mulan was injured. Her secret was revealed. As she lay in the snow, her armor broken and her disguise gone, the truth came out. She wasn't F.A. Ping. She was Mulan, a woman who had dared to fight in a man's world. The soldiers who had become her friends turned their backs on her. Even Captain Li Shang, who had grown to trust her, walked away in silence. Mulan's heart broke. She had given everything, her honor, her family's name, and now, even her place among her comrades, only to be cast aside. She was left behind, told to return home in disgrace. But as she sat in the snow, bruised and alone, something stirred inside her. She hadn't come this far just to give up. The Huns weren't gone. They had survived the avalanche. And now, they were planning a surprise attack on the Imperial City. Mulan knew she had to act, with or without the army's help. Determined to save the Emperor, Mulan rode to the Imperial City, her mind racing with plans. When she arrived, no one believed her warnings. But Mulan didn't wait for permission. She used her knowledge, her cunning, and her courage to infiltrate the palace and stop the Hun leader, Shan Yu, from carrying out his deadly plan. With the help of her old comrades, who had followed her out of loyalty, and even Captain Li Shang, they managed to defeat Shan Yu in a final battle within the palace walls. As the dust settled, Mulan stood before the Emperor, expecting punishment for her deception. But instead, the Emperor honored her bravery. She had saved China, not as a soldier pretending to be someone else, but as herself, Mulan, a woman who had the courage to defy the rules of her world. The Emperor offered her a place among his advisors, but Mulan declined. She wanted to return home, back to the family she had risked everything for. When Mulan returned to her village, her family greeted her with open arms. Her father, who had once feared losing his only daughter, now saw her for who she truly was a hero. The village whispered her name, but to Mulan, the greatest reward was the peace she had brought to her family. Life would never be the same again, not for her or for those who knew her story. In the end, Mulan had found her true self. She had left as a daughter bound by duty and returned as a warrior who had brought honor to her family, not by conforming to tradition, but by breaking it. The quiet village was still the same, but Mulan wasn't. She had a new life now, one shaped by the courage she had found within herself, and the world around her would never forget the woman who had fought with the heart of a true warrior.